is Billy. Billy's a gypsy vanner. Gypsy vanners have been around for hundreds of years. Crossbreed between Clydesdales and or Shires and local ponies. They're a very tough horse. They're a very friendly horse. They're an easy keeper. They tend to be very thick. The people who have these horses use them to pull carts and carriages and wagons. And uh, so they need to have strength in order to do that. They also need to have durability. Again, an easy keeper. Uh, they have a lot of feathering on the lower limb. All this feathering hides the beautiful hoof underneath. When these horses are shod, they're generally shod with a shoe that's very sturdy and with a toe clip because they're going straight forward in motion. They tend to be base narrow, meaning they're closer at the bottom than they are at the top. Very thick chested, very strong, big rump. Billy has a slight axial rotation, he toes in. Very common in horses that are heavy chested, base narrow. He wears hard on the outside, lateral toe quarter. That's where he's breaking over on this hoof. He'll have a little flaring medially, that'll push out a little more, so that when we're trimming we need to bring this heel back just a little bit and then make sure if we put uh, ease of break over, we're going to do it lateral toe quarter where the horse breaks over. When we're trimming we're going to get a uniform wall thickness. This tends to be thicker here because it's less worn. We know that when we put a horseshoe on we restrict the hoof. Mm -hmm. There's no way around it. We know that a hoof is stronger and grows faster without a shoe if they can live with it. Mm -hmm. We also know that the clips restrict the hoof even more and a side clip or a quarter clip will restrict a hoof more than a toe clip. So if we can get away with no clips, great. If we need a clip, we're going to start with a toe clip and then if they need more, then we'll go with side clips or quarter clips. I worked on a lot of heavy horses in Northern Europe that were base narrow and these horses are going straight forward, but they're so base narrow that they pound hard on the outside. So a toe clip would be on to take stress off of the nails straight back, but also a side clip because these shoes would tend to shift medially or towards the inside. So that side clip laterally would help prevent that slippage, especially if they had a traction device on. Billy's back hoof, he's worn off inside here. Either he's rubbing on something or scratching the other hoof a lot is a very good wear pattern laterally a little length medial toe quarter excellent shaped foot broad heel strong prominent frog here on the inside of Billy's hoof is is cut or worn away a horse that travels very closely will cut that hair right off so we want to use this as an indicator of possibly putting a little greater width laterally on these hooves to keep them just a little bit further apart so he's not going to interfere or brush. On a white-footed horse, you'll notice a lot of hemorrhaging. You see the redness in there, in that hoof wall. That happens at the coronary corium right up here where that hoof is growing from. And that's an indication that he's brushing the side of that hoof repetitively. And over time, that could create a lameness situation. So we can help out Billy with giving him a little extra material laterally to keep his limbs a little further apart. And because he's so thick and so low to the ground, he's not, he doesn't have it to have a lot of action. His, his limbs are too short to have a great deal of action. So if you wanted to make him more aesthetically pleasing when he's moving and get more out of those feathers, you would put a toe weight shoe on, which is kind of what the square toed shoes they're putting on the heavy horses are doing too. It's kind of a toe weight. The, the scotch bottom shoes. Yeah. Okay. As with a lot of heavy breeds, they tend to be just a little bit back at the knee, meaning the back is forward, the cannon, the, the knee is back, the cannon bone tends to go a little bit f forward. But to be careful here with all this feathering to make sure that we're getting an accurate reading. These horses put a lot of stress on the front of the knee, compression there. We want to make sure that whatever type of shoe that we put on, that we do not exaggerate the toe that we need to back that shoe up. We need to rock or roll it or square to take that stress off of the front of that knee.
again, often common in heavy horses. It's not an issue because most of these horses are not running. They're going slow, three to four mile an hour. They're pulling a carriage or a wagon. And uh, when doing that, it's not an issue.